Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to review and I'm going to install this. This is the uh, Amazon Basics wall mounted coat rack. Um, the color on this one is light walnut. Let's um, take it out of the box here. I got this cut open, but I haven't looked at it yet. So we'll look at it together here. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Um, let me get this set up. Nothing else in the box there. Let's get this out of the plastic here and take a look at it. Okay, so here's everything that was inside the box. We have the wall-mounted coat rack here. It's got five hooks on it. They give us a paper um, uh, tape measure here, you know, to be able to uh, measure. And then a couple of screws here with wall anchors. Um, I'm going to see uh, where I'm gonna put this. I'd like to get, uh, you know, the screws into studs, but we'll see, um, you know, how it looks and where the studs are at, uh, where I wanna put it. Um, and then we have the instructions here. And here are the instructions. And make sure that you do read through these completely and understand them completely before you do install the uh, wall-mounted coat rack. This will tell you what you need to know in order to do it both safely and properly. Here's what the back looks like here. And yeah, I noticed this online when um, we decided to buy this one. This is an interesting way to uh, be able to, you know, hang this. Rather than the, the screws coming through from this side, um, you put the screws in first and then they sink into these uh, keyhole slots on the back here. Get some measurements here, so. So it's like uh, roughly 22 and a half lengthwise and then tall roughly two and a half inches. Um, and then the wood part of this is roughly a half of an inch thick this way. And then these wall hooks, let's see here. Uh, from top to bottom, kind of hard to get a measurement on that. I'd say roughly four and three quarters um you know from top to bottom here so yeah but this is a nice looking um, coat rack and we definitely needed one because our coats were just putting them um you know over the chairs on the the dining room table which um you know we need to get away from so that's why we decided to go with this so um okay so here are the tools that it says we're going to need we need a drill with a quarter inch um, drill bit. We need a level. Um, we need a Phillips head screwdriver. And then we need a pencil. Um, and I think depending on the size, I think they offer this in a few different sizes. This one has the two keyhole slots on the back, but the instructions do show one with three here. So like I saw they had like, I think it was like an eight hook option on this or something like that. So um, probably in that one you would use, uh, you know, three wall anchors and three screws. So, um, okay, uh, the other thing that we're going to need is um, safety equipment before we do anything with this. Um, for this job, I'm going to wear a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles and a good quality mask. Um, when we're drilling, um, you know, that's going to release uh, drywall and powder and particles into the air. So I want to make sure that I'm protected. So let me get uh, all my safety gear on and then we'll take some measurements and I'll show you where I'm going to put this. Okay, so we have a room underneath our stairs and this is where I'm going to put it. Um, I've marked off the holes here um, where I need to drill out the quarter inch, um, you know, with the quarter inch drill bit. And unfortunately, um, where I wanted to put this, there was no studs. And it, like I had a stud basically somewhere over like in here. So if I would have put it, uh, you know, lined it up to fit the stud, it would have been incredibly off-centered. All right, guys, so I have my safety equipment on and um, just a tip here. Before you drill, make sure that you measure, uh, you know, everything and make sure it's level a couple of times. 
a quarter inch hole is a pretty big hole to put into your drywall. So you don't want to, you know, um, put a hole in the wrong spot and then have to patch it up. So uh, just make sure to measure a couple of times before you uh, do end up drilling. So, okay, um, let's go ahead here. Just make sure I get everything lined up. Okay. And just going slow here. Okay. And you can see, just like I said, you know, that's a pretty big hole uh, to put into your drywall. So just make sure that uh, you do measure a couple of times. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do the next one here. And there we go. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put the wall anchors into the holes that I drilled. So I'll put this one in first. There, that one goes in and let's go ahead and do the next one here. Okay, so here is this one. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to put the screws in. Okay, so when you put the screws into wall anchors, never use a drill. Always do it by hand. Um, if you do it with a drill, you could end up like stripping out the wall anchor um, and just causing yourself, um, you know, a much bigger mess. So it says to leave this out 0.2 inches. So just a little bit like that. Um, okay, so I'm going to put the next one in. Okay, so now I'm putting um, the next screw in the wall anchor here. And same thing, le leaving that out 0.2 inches. Um, okay. All right, so now let's uh, put the coat hanger on here and see how it looks. Look at how wobbly these screws are inside of the wall anchors. Um, you know, I, I've adjusted the depth of the screws to get them as, uh, you know, snug as I can on the coat hanger here. But once I line up the coat hanger and secure it into place, like so, um, look at how wobbly it is. And like I said, I've adjusted the depth of those screws to try to get the snuggest fit as possible. And no matter what I do... Um, the coat hanger just wobbles on there. And I think it's just because, um, you know, the the screws don't sit in there snug in the wall anchors and they're just really wobbly. So I think for me, um, this is not what I want. And I'm worried that over time, um, you know, the weight of the coats on the coat rack is just going to pull this straight off the wall. So unfortunately, in this circumstance for me, um, you know, this is not the right coat hanger for me. Um, so, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'm sorry that this coat hanger didn't work out. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.